Dungeons and Dragons. Satan's game. Your children, like it or not, are attracted in their weaker years to the occult, and a game like D&D fuels their imagination and makes them feel special while drawing them deeper and deeper into the bowels of El Diablo. This afternoon, the Dead Ale Wives Watchtower invites you to sit in on an actual gaming session. Observe the previously unobservable as a hidden camera takes you to the inner sanctum of Dungeons and Dragons. Gallstaff, you have entered the door to the north. You are now by yourself, standing in a dark room. The pungent stench of mildew emanates from the wet dungeon walls. Where are the Cheetos? They're right next to you. I cast a spell. Where's the Mountain Dew? In the fridge, duh. I want to cast a spell. Can I have a Mountain Dew? Yes, you can have a Mountain Dew. Just go get it. I can cast any of these, right? On the list? Yes, any any of the first level ones. I'm going to get a soda. Anyone want one? Hey, Graham, I'm not in the room, right? What room? I want to cast magic missile. The room where he's casting all these spells from. He hasn't cast anything yet. I am though, if you'd listen. I'm casting magic missile. Why are you casting magic missile? There's nothing to attack here. I'm attacking the darkness. (laughs) (laughs) Fine, fine. You attack the darkness. There's an elf in front of you. Whoa, that's me, right? He's wearing a, a, a brown tunic, and he has gray hair and blue eyes. No, I don't. I have gray eyes. Let me see that sheet. Well, it says I have Well, it says I have blue, but I decided I wanted gray eyes. Whatever. Okay, you, you guys can talk to each other now if you want. Hello. Hello. I am Galstaff, Sorcerer of Light. Then how come you had to cast Magic Missile? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you guys are being attacked. Do I see that happening? No, you're outside by the tavern. Cool, I get drunk. <sighs> there, are, there are seven ogres surrounding you. How could they surround us? I had Morton Kaiden's Magical Watchdog cast. No, you didn't. I'm getting drunk. Are there any girls there? I totally did. You asked me if I wanted any equipment before this adventure, and I said no. But I need material components for all my spells, so I cast Mordenkind's Faithful Watchdog. But you never actually cast it. Roll the dice to see if I'm getting drunk. (sighs) Yeah, you are. Are there any girls there? Yeah. I did, though. I completely said when you asked me. No, you didn't. You didn't actually say that you were casting the spell, so now there's ogres, okay? Ogres? Man, I got an ogre slaying knife. It's got a plus nine against ogres. You're not there. You're getting drunk. Okay, but if there's any girls there, I want to do them. There you have it. A frightening look into America's most frightening pastime. Remember that it's not your children's fault that they're being drawn into a satanic world of nightmare. It's their gym teacher's fault for making them feel outcast when they couldn't do one single pull-up. Gullstaff, are you sure you've decided to haggle with the blacksmith? Yes, and I'm using my ring of charms, which adds a plus ten to all convincing rolls. You don't have to remind me. You seem to have convinced the blacksmith to lower the price on the sword. Rock and roll! I use the sword. What do you mean you use it? I swing it around to see if it's magical. What? You can't tell if a sword is magical by swinging it. It's not, it's not a lightsaber. <laughs> well, whatever. However, I'm supposed to find out if it's magical. It's called a detect magic spell. I didn't want to use that up. Well, say you slept for six hours after you cast it. Okay, detect magic. It's not magical. Dude! (laughs) He said it was a magical sword. He was lying. He said he never tells a lie. He was lying when he said that. (laughs) Dude! Hey, 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 look who brought the Mountain Dew! Yeah! Right on! Bye-bye, night, the Mountain Dew. Gallstaff, Dew, as you are standing you. in a dirt road swinging a very unmagical bye, bye, sword, night, you see the strangest sight. Mountain a halfling thief you. is wandering towards you singing Fly by Night. Nightblade! <laughs> it's Nightblade the halfling thief, and he's carrying a 12-pack of Mountain Dew. No way! His character is carrying Mountain Dew, too? If I roll a 10 or above, then yes. Eleven. <laughs> Here's your character, Nightblade. 
Where's Picard, the Elven Ranger? He's coming, and he's bringing his girlfriend. <laughs> and your point is? Well, she's going to want to play. Fine. She can play. Anyone can play. We're a Brown Deer High School endorsed activity with membership open to the student body. I don't care if Greg Erdman wants to play, if he brings his own dice, if Sarah Doheny wants to play Advanced Dungeons and Dragons with us, she can play Titania. Ooh! Isn't that your character? It's not my character. I'm the DM. Sometimes I have to send non-player characters along with you to provide vital information. Yeah, but it seems like mostly you just end up talking through Titania. Whatever. Now we have a girl to play Titania. Hey, guys, what's up? Whoa! Hey, how you doing? Hey, 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 hey Picard! Hey, Sarah, do you know everybody here? I'm in biology with Scott. Girl Stamp! Hey, you're... He's Nightblade. Jeremy. And Graham. Are you going to play D&D with us? I don't really know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there aren't any rules. It's a game of the imagination. Oh, okay. This is your character sheet. Your name is Titania. I don't know what any of this stuff means. I'll help you. Okay. Well, it's way after four o'clock, so can we get started? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you're right. right. You've been chatting with Gullstaff in the village road, and you now see Picard, the elven ranger, approaching. And Titania. No, she's not here. Where am I? Titania, you are in darkness. Is there anything here? You're in darkness. Oh. Well, I turn on the light. <laughs> yeah. Thomas Edison appears in front of you and says, Idiot! I haven't been born yet. I attack him with a, with my sword. <laughs> what? He's not really there. That's DM magic. What? It's a joke, Sarah. I don't get it. Come on, Graham. You're confusing her. I'm going to go to the snack machine. Wait, you guys are in the village. Hey, I can still hear you. Let's go to the tavern. Nightblade is wandering off to the tavern. As usual. Oh, Nightblade always goes to the tavern. So... Am I still in darkness? Maybe you should light a torch. Does anyone have another quarter? I light a torch. Very good. You were in a room, but no more helping. What's in the room? Nothing. I go to the door. There's no door. Graham! The characters were in a certain place at a certain time at the end of the last adventure. I can't put her in a fluffy cloud just because she's your girlfriend. Well, where is she? If you can't remember, then your character can't remember. Well, my character cast a locate person spell. She's on the fifth sub-level of the Queen of Spiders dungeon, remember? Oh, brother. Am I at the tavern yet? Yes. Does anyone have an extra quarter? Because otherwise I gotta get fun yet. Golf staff. Yes, my friend of steady arrow and ready wit. We have to rescue Titania. I will accompany you if you kill the blacksmith that sold me this sword. Yeah, kill the blacksmith. That sounds fun. Don't kill the blacksmith. That's stupid. So what are we doing it wrong now? He told me to kill the blacksmith. I kill the blacksmith. But your character wouldn't do that. What makes you such an expert? The blacksmith turns into a dragon and eats you. What? Wait, huh? The Funyuns are stuck in the machine. I'm going to go home. I'm just in a stupid dark room anyway. Sarah, wait, don't go. Call me later, okay? Okay. What the hell is your problem? What's yours? I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, right. Don't get mad at me because your girlfriend didn't have a good time. For God's sakes, this is advanced, Mark. Advanced this. Shut up. Oh, that's creative. I'm not worried about my creativity, Mark. I'm the dungeon master. I control worlds, universes. Every potion you drink, I mixed. Every magic item you find, I put it there. Do you remember when you killed that hill giant? I rolled a 20, double damage. You rolled a 19, Mark. I fudged it. That giant would have killed you, man. But I admired your spark. You wanted it so badly, so I helped. Because I wanted to. And I help people when I want to. And right now, you're roasting in the hot belly of a platinum dragon. So why don't you ask yourself where your priorities lie? Are we still playing? Yeah. In that case, Gullstaff casts a friendship spell on both of you. Friendship? What kind of gayness is that? Shut up, night kid. I'm not gay. I was in the tavern with wenches. Yeah, male gay wenches. Like you. You guys, you... shut up. What? Titania is here. Titania? She says what? How did you get out of the dungeon? I turned my bag of holding inside out, wrapped it around me, and walked through the dungeon walls. You can do that? It's all in the dice. Well, let's go on an adventure. Shouldn't you get Sarah? No. You play Titania. 
Her dad hinted to a crystal. She says, Anytime you need me, you can use this. Um, are you guys being funny? Yeah. 